One of the most important things to learn first is how to use variables with Python. And first, let's understand why you need variables. So I've made here a very simple and dumb program, which basically prints four and then prints four and then prints four again. So of course, if you already know a bit of programming, you may think that, yeah, we should use a loop to do that three times instead of writing three times the print function. And that is all right. And that is something that we're going to do later on. Here, it's just to show you the why we need variables. Okay. So let's say here, I, I am printing four and then I, I, okay, I want to print seven. So let's say I need to change seven here. I also need to change seven here and I need to change to seven here. So as you can see, every time I want to change the value, I need to change manually the number every occurrences. Okay, now let's say I want to change to eight. I change to eight here and I forget to change to eight here. So when I run the script, I get eight, eight and seven and maybe something will go wrong, okay? So that will be much simpler if we could just set the value once, okay? And then use that value without having to remember every time which value we have to set. Okay, and here it's only a three line program, but as you can guess, when we have hundreds of lines separated in different uh, files, it will be a real mess if you don't have variables. So for example, I'm going to create a number variable equals uh, seven, okay? And what I'm going to do is simply to replace the number here with the actual number variable and run the script again. So now we have seven, seven, seven. And if I want to change the value, let's say we go back to four, then I can run the current script and we have four, four, and four. Okay, so we just need to change the value of the variable once and it will be updated for every time we use the variable. Okay, so basically that's the first approach of why you need variable. And now what I'm going to do is simply open a new file Okay, so that example was just to understand why. And now let's come back to an empty program and start from the beginning. So what is a variable? A variable is basically a container where you store an information to use later. A variable has a name, so this is easier for you and your computer to recognize it. Basically, almost all values that you will use in your programs will be stored in variables. You can give any name you want to a variable. For example, let's create a variable that is named just a, okay? And that variable a will store a number, an integer number. So what I'm going to do is write a, that is the name of the variable, and then I'm going to write equal, okay, to assign value to that variable. And then I'm going to give the value of the variable, let's say five. Okay, so with this line, when this line gets executed, basically what it does, it, it creates a variable named a and it assigns the value five to the variable a. So what's on the right goes into what's on the left of the equal sign. So what we can do, what we just did before, we can print actually uh, this variable. So when I print a, actually, I'm not going to see a here on the terminal. I'm going to see what's inside of the variable a. Okay, so if I run the script, so of course I would need to save it. So let's create variables.py. Okay, and you can see that we have five. Okay, so the value at this moment in line two the value inside a is five, so the print function will print five. Okay, now, as you can see, if I change to six, now print will print six, okay? What I can do also to initialize a variable or to set a value inside the variable at any time, I can use some operators like addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, etc. So all of the basic symbols, you can use them. So for example, I can do six times two, okay? You, you don't need to use spaces here, just more readable, okay? This is kind of a best practice here. 
So now I run the script and I can see A is now 12, okay, because 6 times 2 equals 12. So this was first interpreted into 12 and then with the equal sign 12 is going to the A variable. Okay, and once you've assigned a, once you've created a variable here, you can later on, you can change the value inside that variable. Let's say I do a equals one. Okay, I just changed to one. And if I print the value of a at this point, then you can see we have one. Okay, at this point it was 12 and at this point it is one. So if I print here, I have two prints, okay. The first one is 12, the second one is 1, okay, because the program gets executed in the order, okay. So first we go to line 1, a equals 12, second we print a, so we print 12, and then line 3, we set a new value to a, and then line 4, we print the value from a, okay, this is the exact same line as line 2, but this time the value inside a has changed and it's now one. Okay, so you can create a variable, you can set the value with different operators, you can assign different values over the time of the program to the same variables, okay? And what you can also do now is to, you can create any other uh, variable. Let's say I create variable b, which is equal to three, then I can print b, etc. What I can do also is to create a variable, let's say b, and instead of setting the value 3, I can set the value from A. I can say B equals A. So what this means is at this point, at line 6, the value inside A will be evaluated. So at this point, A equals 1. Okay, so B will be equal to 1. So B will be created and will be assigned a value, which is 1. So now if I do print, b i will see that b equals one i can also do for example a plus one okay and b will be two okay because we take the value from a and then we add one if i remove that here so i have a equals 12 and then b equals a plus one then b equals 13. So as you can see here, the order is very important, okay? If you assign a different value to A before you create B, then of course the new value of A will be used. And also if I try to run that command before that one, okay? If I try to do B equals A plus one, but I haven't defined A before, what will happen is we will get an error that is quite explicit here. On line one, as you can see, line one, so this is the line one, we have name error, name A is not defined. So you can see here that we are trying to access a value from within the A variable, but this variable has not been defined before. What we need to do is we need to define A before we actually use B, okay? Because B depends on the value of a. Now if I run again, it works. And finally, what I want to add here for variables is that you should try to always give a meaningful name to your variables. So I've only used A and B here as an example, okay, to make things very simple. But let's say that you want to store a temperature inside a variable. You will not just say A equals 45, okay? If you want to store a temperature, then you will name your variable temperature. Okay, uh, maybe temperature Celsius, temperature Fahrenheit, or like you can use storage temperature, warehouse temperature. Just give a meaningful name to your variable. If you want to create a counter, then simply name it counter. Okay, if you want a user age variable, then just use user age and as you can see again uh, we don't use spaces here we use underscore so whenever you want to separate words okay with a space 
simply use an underscore okay so that will make this one variable okay. if i do that you will get an error invalid syntax okay you can't have just two names like that you need to have an underscore here and it will work great so to recap a variable is a container that you can use to store a value and reuse that value later on in your program to create a variable you must give it a name and assign a value to it